where you live. Well, it's cool today, but in 1953 on this date, it was the warmest weather so late in the season. From October the 17th through the 22nd, we had highs of 85 to as high as 92 in the viewing area. Thing is, uh, like I always say, in typical Indiana fashion, on the 26th, a lot of places were back down to lows around freezing. Now, these are the peak numbers for that little mini heat wave, if you will, in, in 1953. 91 Delphi, we had 86 at Lafayette on two days. We peaked at 88 at Rensselaer and Kentland, 88 Crawfordsville, and 86 at Rochester. Pretty unusual and almost unheard of to get that hot so late in the season. Now, uh, we had an Alberta Clipper move through over the weekend. We had one move through today. We've got two more on the way, but not before we get this little light freeze and frost tonight. The next two clippers, for a total of four since the weekend, will bring some scattered rain, snow, and sleet showers. The first one will get in here tomorrow p.m., last into tomorrow night and Wednesday morning, and then we'll have another one most likely Wednesday night into Thursday morning with our first snowflakes of the season. Clipper 1 is moving away, but here's the next one diving into North Dakota right now, and there's another one behind that one. So this is the one for tomorrow to early Wednesday, and this is the one Wednesday night into early Thursday, and they're all going to ride the upper jet southward. This is all the cool air. They'll ride and take this train track right into our area and then bring some of that precip. But tonight, skies clear out. The winds diminish, so we're looking at 31 degrees for the low, and even at 1 o'clock, down to 37. So patchy frost will already be forming uh, by midnight, perhaps 1 o'clock. 30 Monticello, 29 at Rensselaer, and 32 degrees from Frankfurt and Romney down towards Crawfordsville. Tomorrow, only mid-40s at Morocco. Upper 40s, Rensselaer, 50 at Lafayette, and 53 at Thorntown. After 31 in the morning, the temp will rise to about 50 and then kind of level off and actually start to fall a little bit later on in the day. In fact, we'll be down to 45 by 5 p.m. And Wednesday, highs only in the 40s. From 44 Winnemac, 44 Lafayette, 45. That is it at Frankfurt. High-rise future cast uh, shows the clear skies tonight and the cold night ahead. Then tomorrow morning, mostly clear skies, but the clouds thicken through the day tomorrow. And I think late tomorrow in the p.m., notice a few cold rain showers starting to come in from the northwest. That's 3 in the afternoon, and this is about 5 in the evening. But notice what happens tomorrow night as the scattered showers overspread the area. Notice some of the blue. That's a little wet snow and sleet kind of mixing in with this. If there's any accumulation at all, it'd be just maybe a little bit on your car windshield or roof early Wednesday morning. And then this pulls out of here with time on Wednesday, and we'll have another little clipper that kind of pivots in uh, about 8, 10 hours from that point. That'll bring a few more rain, snow, and sleet showers. Seven-day forecast, though, shows eventually it's going to start to warm up around here. After only 44 on Wednesday and Thursday, 47 Friday, Friday, but we're back to 61 on Monday. I think we'll have this little surge of warmth uh, just around Halloween and just prior. And then after that, another big surge of cold. And that one could really knock the temperature back a lot. Well, it's chilly today. It right? is, Thanks, yeah. Ted. Sure. Ted, thank you. Up next.